Portsmouth's top attorney admits he made a mistake in a war of words with the sheriff over the work release program. The discussion triggered by inmate Anthony Ruffin, who failed to report back to a work program last month. Police say Ruffin assaulted two people while he was unaccounted for. He has since been arrested. This weekend, the Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney told us that Ruffin was the seventh inmate not to report back in the last year. Turns out he was only the second. But all of this attention got us wondering what is the work release program and who's responsible for inmates working in the private sector? Then on your sides, Ann McNamara has some important answers tonight. Ann? Tom, today I spoke to Sheriff Bill Watson about the ins and outs of the work release program. I asked him, how can we, the public, be sure the program isn't threatening our safety? Work release are the inmates that go out and hold a job and draw a paycheck. Sheriff Bill Watson says work release is a privilege for those near the end of their sentences, a chance to get back out in the world and earn a living. They pay $100 a week to the sheriff's department, cover child support and fines. And what's left over, they can send home or put in their canteen. On an average day, a prisoner wakes up at the sheriff's work center and gets picked up by a private employer. The employer is responsible for the prisoner all day, from pickup to drop off, back at the work center. There's a contract that the employer has to sign with all the rules and regulations, the do's and don'ts. Then they have to read it and agree to it and sign it, and they're responsible for that individual. And if they violate that contract, we pull the inmate right then, and they never get another one. Employers must show proof of insurance, workers' comp, a valid driver's license. They sign paperwork saying prisoners will not be given cash, alcohol, tobacco, drugs, or other contraband. They agree not to let prisoners see family or friends or make personal phone calls. The prisoners are recommended for work release by a judge, but that doesn't mean they're automatically in. So we have to check your background, you know, what your past violations are, and it goes through classification. If you don't clear it, you don't go to the work center. Prisoners convicted of violent crimes in the last 10 years are not eligible. Neither are prisoners convicted of child sex crimes or assault. The exception, if the assault is domestic, the prisoner could make the cut. Those with drugs and firearms offenses are also eligible. Sheriff Watson says the work center has made a number of improvements since Ruffin got away, including new security cameras at the entrance and exit. Deputies will use those cameras to keep a close eye on the logbook and make sure the times written down match the times on the clock. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.